What's going on, you guys? My name is Sierra Porter. I'm with Rolling Out, and we are here with the season five winner of Master Chef <laughs> Junior, Miss Jasmine Stewart. How are you? I am so good. Thank you so much for having me here. My pleasure. I'm so happy to have you here. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and get started because you are a rock star. You are killing the game right <laughs> now. So I want y'all to know this young lady is amazing at what Thank she you. does. How did you get into cooking? Um, I actually got into cooking by my parents. It's it's actually really funny. Um, my dad is from Jamaica, so he loves making like exotic dishes. Mm -hmm. And my mom's from Virginia, and so she loves like these southern dishes. And so they would make the best dinner, the best breakfast, and I was like, okay, I gotta figure out how to do it. <laughs> um, and so I was like, teach me the basics, um, and that's exactly what they did. And I just continued to practice it. And my whole Instagram feed is just cooking stuff. <laughs> so, um, it's just been a love of mine for a really long time. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And what do you like about cooking? I think um, I love a whole bunch about it. Um, I love that it brings like the family together. Um, like I love when I make something and my whole family comes down and they just dig on in um, to try it. Um, and then I just love that it makes people happy and you really get to express yourself. So like, let's say if I'm not having such a good day, I might make my food really spicy, but you know, if I'm feeling <laughs> bright, I might make something like uh, super bright and like citrusy. So you really just get to express yourself. Awesome. Mm -hmm. And let's talk about the show. Yes. So how did <laughs> you get on Master Chef Junior? Craziest story. Um, honestly, my mom just found the audition and I had nothing to do on a Saturday morning. And mm -hmm. she was just like, you know what? I think you should go down here and audition for the show. It would be fun because um, we're such huge fans of Master Chef Junior. Um, and I was freaking out. I was so excited. I uh, didn't think I would make it on, but it's mm -hmm. um, been the best experience ever. Awesome, mm -hmm. awesome. And what was it like working with Gordon Ramsay? Because I know he can be <laughs> a little tough, but what, what was it like working with him? He was the best, mm -hmm. honestly. Um, it's funny because everybody is like, um, oh my goodness, he's so mean. And, and I was a little bit scared too at first, but he was the sweetest person ever. He gave us like the biggest hugs and was the best mentor in the kitchen. Um, had so much good advice and so funny. Actually, <laughs> he's hilarious. Um, so... I think I couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Awesome. And what was your winning dish? Okay. <laughs> Are you ready? I right. am ready. We so, need the recipe. We yes. need the tea. Okay, we had to make rec um, an appetizer on chain dessert. Mm -hmm. So my appetizer was smoked white fish and scallop fritters. Oh, red, okay. Fancy. <laughs> All with, right. With the red pepper peanut sauce, cream mm -hmm. papaya salad, um, and a jerk vinaigrette. Okay. Um, my entree was a jerk basted lobster tail with a coconut curry broth, um, butter glazed sweet potatoes and peas, and a finger lung caviar. And then my dessert was a sticky rum cake with a coconut whipped cream and a pineapple chip. Girl, <laughs> that, that's a, <laughs> that was very, very fast. I know. I see why you won. Honey. You went all the way out. Awesome. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. And what was your reaction when you won? Like, what, what did it feel like? Um, at first, I had to double check. <laughs> Wait, um, did they say my name? And I was so surprised, um, but so thankful, because like I said, like just from the beginning, like of the process auditioning, like I never thought I would make it onto the show, let alone win. Mm -hmm. um, and so it was just amazing. And my family was there, and they were just so excited. So it was just the best thing ever. So I'm so thankful for everything. Awesome. And what has life been like since oh, you won the show? Because <laughs> I know you just got off the airplane. <laughs> Yes. What has your um, life been like? Life has been the most amazing mm -hmm. experience ever. I never thought um, it would be like this. It's honestly such a dream. Mm -hmm. um, I've gotten to travel everywhere. I'm um, California, New York, um, even outside of the country, like to Jamaica, um, and meet fans and have my recipes featured through multiple cookbooks um, and magazines. Um, I actually got to have my own cooking class called uh, Jasmine's Delightful Desserts, which is awesome. Um, I got to appear on MTV. Just just a whole bunch of um, amazing stuff. And another really big thing that like I'm trying to do after the show is, of course, like, you know, to whom much is given, much is expected. Absolutely. So, like, um, I'm super big on girl empowerment mm -hmm. because I think it's um, important for us to know our worth. Mm -hmm. And, like, you know, we're the youth, so we have to, uh, you know, really be who we are. So I started my own campaign called Let Your Inner Girl Slay. Okay. Um, and so that's, like, a new hashtag that I'm pushing, which is super exciting. 
um, and like the whole purpose behind it is to let girls know, you know, to truly be yourself um, and don't hide like your views or your opinions for anybody else because a lot of times, you know, we think something or we feel something but we'll hide it, you know, because we're scared of what other people will think but I'm just trying to let girls know that be yourself um, and it's okay to think what you want to. Absolute girl, you are right on the right track, honey. I wish I had that type of mindset when I was 13. I was cutting up, but you on the right track, mommy. You did a good job. So who is your chef role model? Who do you look up to? Oh, goodness. Um, there's so many amazing chefs out there, but honestly, my favorite one probably has to be Gordon Ramsay. Um, because I love his story. Mm -hmm. Um, he started like playing soccer. Mm -hmm. Um, he definitely didn't grow up like in a really wealthy family. Um, he had no intentions of cooking, but you know, he had an injury in playing soccer and then found a passion for something and kept pushing. Um, and he's truly a good chef, even though he's on TV, he, you know, he's truly uh, a master at his craft. Mm -hmm. Um, and he's so sweet. So I just think he has the full package. Um, and so I look up to him so much. Awesome. Yeah. And what's, what's a typical day like for you? I know that you're traveling oh. <laughs> and doing a lot, but what, what do you do when you get up and then yes. you go home? Um, I'll say this, my schedule changes a whole bunch, mm -hmm. um, but I'm a full-time student at the Ron Clark Academy, which is awesome. Um, so it's just going to land that that's why I'm wearing this uniform. <laughs> Education matters. <laughs> right. Um, so I'm, I'm a student there and I'm also a cheerleader. Um, I'm captain. Which is really? Cool. Um, <laughs> I used to cheer too. Okay. Yeah. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm a cheerleader. Um, this year I actually started my own after school program, mm -hmm. um, teaching girls about entrepreneurship and leadership. Um, you know, just how to start your own business and how to be a better leader, like in your community. Um, so that, um, goodness gracious. <laughs> um, yeah, so cheer and then, um, you know, and just try to focus on making sure that I get my grades. Um, but I stay really busy. Um, so like I have school life and then master chef life, but mm -hmm. it's all amazing and so much fun. And how do you find that balance? Like how do you, <laughs> okay, I gotta work on my school stuff. I gotta work on my, you know, business stuff. I have to be with my family. How do you balance all of that? I have a great family mm -hmm. um, and great parents. Um, my parents have just been amazing through this whole process. They've uh, been so proud of me, but also just help with like keeping me grounded and keeping me humble and um, always there for me, you know, when I need uh, help with something. So my mom is like, okay, you got to know your schedule. Mm -hmm. You got to get it right. You better get your grades or you can't do this. Um, <laughs> um, and so it's not like my mom. <laughs> Um, so they just help manage me and I also have a great team. So um, all the adults in my life have just been such an amazing help. So. And is cooking something that you want to pursue longer in the future? Or like, what other things would you like to pursue? Yes, um, so definitely continuing cooking because mm -hmm. um, I've just had the best experience with it and I love it mm -hmm. so much. Um, so I'd love to maybe continue cooking like on uh, a TV level. So maybe be like the next Bobby Foley or Jada. Um, yes. Yes. Okay. I love um, yeah, I definitely love to get into some acting. Mm -hmm. Um, I want to be an attorney. Um, but mainly like the one big thing that I know I will continue is of course the girl empowerment because it's so important. Um, and it's really important to be a positive influence for the youth um, and for the girls. So cooking and girl empowerment will definitely be my top two. Okay. Awesome. And what advice would you give someone who is your age and want to be the girl boss that you are? <laughs> um, yeah, first off, um, you have to start with like an open mindset. Mm -hmm. So you can't look at me and somebody, you know, who's doing stuff like they're completely you know, not a normal person, you know, you have to recognize that you can do the same thing that they're doing as well. Mm -hmm. And they started like at the same place. So know that you can do it. Mm -hmm. um, don't be afraid to throw yourself in there. You know, if I didn't try out for Master Chef Junior, where would I be right now? Right. Um, so you can't be afraid to try out new opportunities. Um, and just have fun. Um, of course, you know, if you want to cook, just find an idol and somebody that you look up to. And then of course, let your inner goal slay. Um, so don't let anybody hold you back and be your true self. Awesome, mm -hmm. awesome. And last question, uh, what new projects are you working on? I know you have your mentorship <laughs> program. Can we expect something yeah. a little bit new? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so th th this is the most amazing thing. Um, so I've had the opportunity to work on a couple of products, which is pretty cool. Um, so you definitely have to stay tuned. Okay. Um, so I have some stuff coming out, which I'm pretty excited about. Um, so it will all definitely be a part of the girl empowerment um, leg of myself. So stay tuned for that. Um, and then I'm just, of course, you know, touring and 
doing a bunch of events. I'll be at the Sugar so Show soon um, and a bunch of other stuff. So <laughs> I'm staying quite busy, so you have to stay tuned. Um, but I'm so thankful for all the opportunities. Awesome. And speaking of stay tuned, <laughs> where can people find you on social media? Yes, um, so you can find me at Just Chef Jasmine um, on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I got all three. Um, <laughs> yeah, so that's, that's where I'm at. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much, Jasmine. I appreciate you for taking thank time you. out of your busy schedule. Yeah. <laughs> to come and talk with me. Uh, you are amazing. You are doing you so amazing. Much. You are a positive role model. And I am honored to be oh, <laughs> in you. your presence. I'm Sierra Porter. We're rolling out. And this is Jasmine Stewart. And we're out.